Hey friends, Steve Guttenberg here and I am the Audiophiliac and I am excited. I just watched uh, an episode of John Darko uh, on his website. He was interviewing Jude Mansell of HeadFi and it's a great interview. I will link to it below so you can watch it for yourself. But here's my takeaway. At about 6 minutes and 45 seconds approximately, uh, Jude starts to bring up this aspect of the headphone scene and that is a headphone comes out, is released by the manufacturer, people are buzzing about it, they're talking about it on the internet and stuff, saying, oh, it sounds good, da, da, da. and then people start to measure it on the internet, and then when those subjective opinions of the, of the headphone are confronted with the measurements that may reveal some terrible flaws in the design, then the impressions of the headphone sound changes. That's really interesting, I think, because people listen to the headphone and had their opinions, and everybody liked it or didn't like it, and da 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 da. And then people start measuring it, publish those measurements on the internet, and now people's opinions of the headphone sound has changed. So, sounds pretty wacky to me. Let's say they liked the headphone at first, and the measurements proved it had some fatal flaws, and now they didn't like it so much. Headphones, the same headphone. A lot of people listened to it, had their opinions. Anyway, it just strikes me as strange. It's, it is this tyranny of measurements that leads people to draw certain conclusions based on measurements. How well the measurements are done, who knows, you know, I mean some people are better at measuring headphones than others, um, but that's besides the point at this time in the conversation, right? I mean to me, let's, let's run down at least some of the, the possibilities here that a, a headphone measures well and sounds good. That would be the best, right? A headphone measures well, sounds eh. Uh, measures poorly but sounds good and then measures poorly and sounds like crap. Could be one of those and I think I left one of the, those possibilities out. But I personally don't give a crap how it measures. I use my ears to determine how, measure, how headphones sound and speaker sound and amplifier sound. I just give my impressions of what it sounds like. I've been doing this a really long time. I have a lot of experience and that's it. By the way, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said this on my YouTube channel before, but this is my job. I'm not a college professor who does a, a couple of reviews on the side a month to make some extra money. I'm not a, you know, a restaurant chef who does reviews. I make my living writing reviews of audio and, and talking about audio and stuff. And I have for, I think, 22 years. That's pretty much my job is writing about audio. So. It's my life. Now, in my uh, vast experience of doing this, um, being snarky, uh, I was talking to a headphone engineer for a very major headphone company, and he told me something very much off the record, but since I'm not going to tell you who it is or what the company was, I'm going to tell you that he said they were developing this high-end headphone, and they had various prototypes. And um, they were the, the engineers in, in the project group were you know, working on this idea like should we put out the one that measures the best but we don't seem to really like the way it sounds or should we put out the one that doesn't, doesn't measure as well but we kind of all really like that one, you know. And that's what they did. They put out the less good measuring headphone because they thought it was the best sounding headphone. And these are guys who measure for a living, by the way. That's what they do, and yet they said, you know, this is something about that other one that we like, and they put it out. So that is the thing. Normal people that buy headphones don't measure them. They listen to them. Their, their primary uh, goal here for buying a headphone is that it sounds good, not that it measures well. If you could have one or the other, great sound or great measurements, what would you choose? I, I would kind of go for the better sounding headphone myself. So therein lies the, the root of this tyranny of measurements that has gripped the headphone world and just, I think, just audio reviews in general. That they're, they're very steered towards measurements and the measure sometimes reveals, you know, issues and problems with headphones, speakers, amplifiers, whatever. And some of those are significant and should be addressed, but sometimes I have the feeling that the measurers think that they're smarter than the people who designed the headphones or speakers or amplifiers or DACs, you know, like as if the 
designer was unaware of how it measured, but these people in their in their you know bath in their bath <laughs> robe or something are measuring things. Like, oh look, it's ringing! You know, it's like give me a break. Anyway, as always, your opinions are welcome. Uh, but the thing is, this this episode was sparked by the, the interview John did with uh, June Mansell at Rocky Mountain. Please watch it. Draw your own conclusions. It's a good interview. And uh, I'll see you here next time. My name is Steve Guttenberg. I am the Audiophiliac. Please come back again and again and again.